And now it's time for the invisible things, a fireside chat with Danny D. Oh, hi there. Now you may be wondering, what on earth is going on here? Is this young gentleman about to wax philosophic on the human condition? Is he wearing his grandmother's pink bathrobe? Well, the simple answer to all those questions is, heck yeah. I don't know about you, but recently, I've been feeling like life feels a little bit out of control. What I've observed from my time on Earth, there's nothing humans love more than the feeling of being in control and the lengths that we'll go to feel it. Such as judging or gossiping about others to make us feel better about ourselves, or visually manipulating each aspect of our life to show what we want to project on social media. Wow, don't I look glamorous today? Ha, <laughs> my life is always like this. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what can I control during these troubling times, Danny D? Well, one of my favorite quotes is, we don't see things as they are. We see things as we are. So the question we should be asking ourselves is, how do we want to see things? Now I'm self-aware enough to know that you don't want to hear from a white guy in a pink bathrobe telling you to stay positive during these troubling times. But we're smart enough to know that everything is about perspective. So who do we want to be? An anxious monster crippled by the news who is on the verge of a nervous breakdown? Or a confident young prince monster who seems to have his affairs in order? With all the information and data we have from the leading edge science, what if I told you that you had the properties within yourself to rewire your brain and basically put a new filter on the way that you see the world? Now you may be saying to yourself, shut your filthy mouth you dangerous millennial with your new age thoughts and your witchcraft. But I say to you, let's look at the facts. Over these next few weeks, we'll be diving into some simple material of how thoughts and stress affect your brain and body, and how we can use this information to create a healthier and happier lifestyle. If you're interested, come along. And if not, that's all right. But I'm glad we've had this time together. Until then, simple blessings. This has been The Invisible Things, a fireside chat with Danny D.